wanted fire. There you have it. Though I get the sense you two are ill fit for whatever it is you're plotting. <laughs> this one takes us for a fool, brother. We sons of Ragnar have this well under control. No, we do not. Sons of Ragnar? I know of many. But never have I heard of dull and duller. Stand back, Sprout, and observe. You may learn a thing or two. I am excited. You must hear it in my voice. Priest, stranger, you must get it back for us. Find a way in. Dull and duller, like I said. I am unharmed, which makes you very lucky. Smart, you mean. I must have taken Mother's axe out of the house, knowing this fool would forget it. And left the key in its place. You two are as useful as a glass hammer. I'm leaving. Sorry to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the white elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. It may be you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. Deliver comforting life. Out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic. I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. We're looking for her brother Wallace. She's been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? Ha! Is Petra near? I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. Well, what is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. Up there! His trail leads this way. Petra, I met your old friend the White Elk. But he vanished before my eyes, before I found you. You were visited! For a time. We talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Ah! Oh, look there! This is strange, say, dear Petra. Where are you? <laughs> Over here! Eivor, come on! I'm up here! Petra? How are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? I'll show you. How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. Move! Run in a straight line! No! Too far! Too far! Amazing! You did it, just like your Sunin! And not a scratch on you! Now let's go. Wallace should be over there. Are you sure Wallace is here? I see no one. I believe so. We should ask the rabbits. They will know something. Of course. <laughs> the rabbits. We've been here before. This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no. The wolf spirits have wakened. Good day, Squid. I hope I'm not intruding, but have you seen my brother Wolves? Damn! This one doesn't speak rabbit! Petra! Hurry! Uh, do you see it? The white elk leading us to Wallace! Just as before. I see him. I do. Come on, Eivor, chase the elk! No, no, please, don't disappear! Not now! Ah, not until we have Wallace! 
Uh, so, what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone brain stoat! We've been looking for you! And here I am! Freshly rested and ready to work. You're days late! I was carrying quite a burden coming home. Slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> mushrooms. So the elk. Just another dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They're often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be bussing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. Come you closer, friend Eivor, and lend me your ear. The most cutting of flights from my mouth you'll not hear. But by proxy I'll call you a milksop and boor. Though you speak through another, your flighting's still poor. Your body is withered, your garments absurd. I'll topple you over with nary a word. I'm devoted to flights, though to silence avowed. Though you choose to be quiet, your folly is loud. Oh my! Your visage is ghastly. I'm cowed by your stink. I should like to write more, but you're not worth the ink. So, a last parting phrase. You're as dim as they come. I will easily crush you beneath my thumb. Very fine work. As an impartial observer, I must say you won. Thank you. My brother has a few parting words. You have bested me squarely and thus won the day. So take what you've earned now and hurry away. I will. Farewell to you both. Leave me now. You are nothing. With me, with wisdom, glory, power. What more do you need? Now that you have seen our enemy and you understand our cause, I wonder if you would join us. Become a hidden one. Was this your ultimate goal, Hytham? A trial by fire? It is a kind offer, but I do not believe we fight for quite the same cause. Your creed demands that you keep your triumphs hidden. I prefer my glory to be in plain view for all to see. If I taught you our creed, if you spent time with it, it could open your mind to another view. Another view is always welcome. But to live without celebrating one's glory and honor and achievements is not a life for me. Nope. You're quite strong. You should know. I had you cornered in that fight just moments ago. And an even stronger ego to match. Not surprising. Nice work. The curse is fading. It'll be much easier to find the artifact now. Glad I let you tag along to help. I did most of the work. You're getting on my nerves, you know. These close quarters probably aren't helping. Let's find a way out. If this artifact is ancient and was left here who knows how long ago, why is it suddenly causing problems now? Loki got bored? So serious. You're quiet. Not thinking of throwing another axe at my head, are you? No, I'm just not compelled to fill silence like you are. Good. That fight took a lot out of me. Not sure I'm ready for a second. You kept me on my toes as well. Was that... a compliment? <laughs> you can really hold your mead. Now, if we had been drinking wine, I would have won. Wine. <laughs> That's child's play. Not if it's from Marcos's vineyard. That swill could build paint from a vase. Marcos? 
Who's Marcos? An old friend that made truly terrible wine. <laughs> Malaga. <laughs> Malaga. You really are drunk. Now you're just spouting nonsense. <laughs> no. No, it's a Greek swear word. It's Malaga. 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 <laughs> That's it. Malaga.